Here at Calvin, recently there has been a lot of conversation within the Chimes, among other places, about the place of homosexuality in a CRC. In 1973, the Christian Reform Synod uh, drafted what's called a, pass, a statement on pastoral care for homosexuals. And in that, having looked at the biblical literature as carefully as they possibly could, uh, they made this claim that to be homosexual is something that one had no choice in, neither to be heterosexual or homosexual, but what one does with one's heterosexuality or homosexuality is something in which they have some moral choice. The evidence right now shows pretty clearly that homosexuality uh, or sexual orientation, if you don't mind me calling it that, is heritable. That means it does have a dem demonstrated genetic component. That is not the same as saying it's genetic, the way um, being a boy or a girl is genetic, or the way Huntington disease is genetic. There is ample biological evidence that people do not um, simply choose to be, uh, choose their sexual orientation. The conversation continues Tuesday on campus when we are visited by a group called the Equality Riders. They are a group of students who were touring Christian college campuses and universities around the country and talking about exactly these issues. At other Christian colleges, they have not been received so well, in fact. At Bob Jones University, they were arrested. And at Dort, their bus was graffitied with very inappropriate language. These students seek simply to raise awareness about the issues of gender and sexuality. If you'd like to get involved in this ongoing debate, they will be here at Calvin next Tuesday, April 24th.